Mr. Everyone, this is going to say episode four of Faction Guide, and this episode is going to be mainly on MCMO because I play on servers with MCMO only. So, the first perk we're going to learn how to how to uh, make better is going to be the acrobatics, which acrobatics allows you to take less fall damage. Um, each hit, you have a chance of dodging the hit. So if I'm attacking somebody. If you swing at me and then they hit me, but it won't count because I would dodge it, as I would say. And then I take less hits too at the same time. So I'm going to game mode zero. And let's take off the armor because that's for something else. You hop down here, the piston push you. You can either AFK here or hold control plus W, makes you go really fast. And go up here in my bat. Alright, go continue going up. Go up, 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 up. And we drop at the very top, which is right here. You go and start all over again. Now, because uh, it, like it takes you a long time, or it might take you a long time to get all the way back up here, you make sure you have food in your inventory so you can eat, and make sure there's either a beacon around or dispenser shooting uh, regen po potions or tripwire or stuff like that. And um, that's basically how you train your acrobatics. There's other type of acrobatic machines that are a little bit more efficient than this, but cause a lot, lot more resources. This can also be used as an AFK machine. So if, if alts get kicked for idling, you can have them in here instead. So let's hop into this. Um, I actually need to regen. Actually, I'll regen fast. Sorry about that. I was thinking about factions. I did PV1. Anyway, so next is going to be repair. So here we have the cactus. And a lot of people know this, and it's basic. You just hop on here, and your your armor will already start to break, and it'll break quite fast. You make sure you're wearing diamond armor because your health will like not even go down. I'm a peaceful, so it's not going down at all. But my armor's going away really fast. Now for this one is that you have to drink a regen potion, you know, throw it over there or anywhere, and then hop in here, and that that makes it break like. Probably the same pace as that one over there, but maybe maybe a little bit faster, as you can see. And I'm still I'm still losing. Yeah, so I'm not losing anything because of the regen. I'm gonna wait for myself to cool down. Oh, water. Yeah, so I'll hop in here. This is this one's fishing. Oh wait, let me go back to repair and explain. So with repair, you can have armor. So this armor's broken. So I would run over to an iron block and right click it, which would make me repair this. But I'll have to change it up for one diamond, so I'll take one diamond to repair this. And then I could go to a gold block, and if I didn't say, if, oh man, I want my diamonds back for this, so I'll go to gold block, I'll right click it, and it'll give me all my diamonds back. But it have to be a certain level to do that. <clears throat> and yeah, it's really, it's really nice for when you're PvP in, and you have prep 4, and you're like, prep 4 and breaking 3, and you're like, man, I really don't want to lose this, but it's really broken. And you train this up with either diamond armor or any type of armor. And you just sit here and AFK at this until your health drops either here, then stop and repair and do it all over again. So that's a really nice way you can do this with. No, you can only do this with the armor, but it works for tools and everything, even bows. Alright, and now we're into fishing. And what the fishing skill is that it allows you to pick up fish or whatever you want to pick up. You can pick up fish, armor, tools, music discs stuff like that, eggs, enchanted stuff, and basically what you would have to do here is that you can tape down your mouse button, and it'll just automatically do this, which would, if the MC, I don't have the MCMO plugin on, but it would pick up uh, fishes, fish and stuff, and just rank it up over and over and over and over and over and over again, and then because it's breaking down here, and after from doing that, I would have more than 50 so I could repair it here, then continue going. And I'll have like a lot of them on you because you just say, okay, you can tape, tape this down and watch something on your iPod or do whatever you want and sit here and do this. This is really good for um, rare enchantments because you can get enchantments that don't usually mix. like Or enchantments that they, they, they do mix but they're hard to get, like legit. <clears throat> so it's really nice. You also get a lot of music discs which are rare on most servers. Now, next we are in mining here. And Obsidian is... I know for a fact is the best for mining, but it's, it takes a long time. But endstone has the same effect as up obsidian for mining, so it's 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 almost awesome. And then if 
if if warp end is in, uh, enabled, so you actually have to find it, and quartz is the next best thing. It is lower than endstone, but it still wrecks you up really fast. Now, a cool thing that uh, mining has is blast radius. So, saying if I had TNT here, and if I place down TNT and blow it up, it blows up in a smaller ra radius, but if I had it mining, I had my mine up high, it would blow up in a bigger radius, making TNT cannons and stuff like that really efficient. And it also has Super Breaker, which like over like 500 makes it last for like makes it last for a long time. That's really nice too when you're mining up for your base. Now excavating is basically the same as that one over there. These are the four things that I mine whenever I can find it. So <clears throat> for mining grass here, just just mine the top here, not the dirt, because the dirt doesn't give you as much experience as the grass does. Then here, podzol. Uh, if I say that right, I don't know where to find this stuff out. But anyway, this stuff is good for uh, excavating too. Soul sand is I find is the best for excavating, but the hardest to come come by. So is mycelium, 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 mycelium. Yeah, so is mycelium. Anyway, so excavating, you start off on grass. Like if you search mine on grass, you get glowstone and then it moves on to like diamonds and then apples which can be used for god apples or, or food then you know, better stuff for music disc and stuff like that and gravel gives you bones and gunpowder um i don't uh i think this stuff gives you like nether wart maybe i'm, I'm, I'm not 100 sure on these two give i'm just guessing but it gives you a lot of good stuff like if diamonds are hard to come by then excavating is the best way to go so now we have smelting, and what smelting is, smelting is uh, is combined mining and repair, so if you follow those two back there, your smelting should be really good. So if I threw in 32 gold ore it's in here, saying if there's coal in here, and it's going, but instead of coming out uh, with 32, it would actually come out with gold, it would come out with 64 if I have my, my smelting up to 1000. So having my smelting up to a thousand would mean that my repair and mining is up to a thousand. Okay, we're doing PV1. I swear. It's sorry about that. My uh, commands are in my mind. Anyway. So, and that's really, really good for making god apples because if you got both of them up and you're basically set. You can also like stone and glass and stuff like that you can use for smelting here. And then next one we got... Uh, pumpkins and melons, or so herbalism. I find this is the fastest way to get it up after they fix like the bone meal thing a while back. So grab an axe. Game mode zero, and it goes by much faster with an axe, as you can see here, than with your hand. So just get this and just get going. Well, only for pumpkins. So ignore, ignore the melons here. So here's the melons here, and it takes a long time here. Then this one goes, and it goes really fast. It doesn't work with melons, so don't use melons, just pumpkins. All right, and with herbalisms, if the server has a cash crop, which means a certain crop that, if it's pumpkins, most most servers it's like something else. But if it's pumpkins, or something like that, you can have multiple firms in one area, and ha you use pumpkins to rank rank up your uh, herbalisms. And so you green thumb, you get like if I placed this on a tamed area, it would grow faster if, than a normal player. And it'd be all, all when you do this, it's also faster to break, so it'd be like super fast. Sugar cane's also good, but like not as good as pumpkins. Pumpkins I find, another word is really good. But uh, anyway, so there's herbalisms. The next one we got. Um, Bows. There it is. We got archery, and what you do for archery is that you get a lot of mobs stuck in, you know, like, like this, like a grinding platform. If mob eggs are enabled, and you just sit here, no, let's not shoot them. You sit here and you just go like this, and it ranks up your archery fast. I would do it. Any mob works, but just sit here and just keep on firing like that. Like you're gonna kill them, but if you have a dispenser spawning them above or something like that, you can just sit here and just go at it. Now for taming, which is the last one I got, because taming is actually pretty nice. So with taming, so I got all my wolves here, and I got the villagers from here. And I don't see if I let these guys free. So here, you guys, you can go run around. Go back to game mode. 
zero, so I would pick a mob that doesn't fight back but has a lot of health, like like the villagers. Let's send these guys up. And so when I hit them like that, they all attack, which levels up my tame in. So if I hit these guys too, after they finish with him, they go off over here. And yeah, I'm risking villagers' lives here, but gotta do what I gotta do. Hope you understand. Alright, anyway. So, so anyway, I hit this guy, they're gonna go for him, and this guy's gonna be next. So I'll say him. So bam, they kill him, and bam, they go after him. And Taman's really nice because you get this high that in Mob Arena, most of the time they have dogs with you. So you spawn in a dog, you can kill mobs in like seconds. It's also good for uh, messing with players when you're PvP in. So, like, think of PvP in one person that can strafe pretty really well, but then like 20,000 dogs with them. And another cool thing with this is that if you have a like 64 bones or any amount of bones if you right shift click if you hold shift then right click it spawns a dog automatically even if your team is like crap it still does that and uh this is basically it for how to level up your mcmo fast what each mcmo skill does for the best and yeah so following this you should be able to get a lot of mcmo really fast so a lot of people didn't know even know about smelting but it's still pretty nice so Faction Guide Episode 4, like I said, I'm guessing in that episode. And so I'm working on that right there, just a sneak peek of a wicked base that I'm building. But it takes a long time to build because I don't have a world at it. So <clears throat> I'll give you a little sneak peek of that. We got like halfway or a quarter of a 45 degree wall and it goes up pretty high with slabs on the roof. And cactus on the roof too. Oh, cactus are perfect on the roof. Anyway. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe.